As we are getting ready to hear more about the Tesla's upcoming battery day, we will probably hear a breaking news coming there because Reuters has a story saying Tesla's secret new million mile battery claims to slash cost of electric cars and Reuters says it that this new uh, million mile battery will be introduced in China and it could drop the cost below the parity with uh, gas cars and I think it's going to start with model 3 made in China model 3s welcome back dear friends this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com I have a very important story to share you uh, broke by uh, Reuters and before we start please I ask you join our community uh, like this channel and subscribe to our channel and and also like this video and if you would like to support us financially you uh, would ask you to send us an applause uh, the button is found next to the like button if you're watching this video on a desktop or you can do it from desktop so electric car maker Tesla plans to introduce a new low-cost long-life battery in its model 3 sedan in China later this year or early next year that it expects will bring the cost of electric vehicles in line with gasoline models and allow electric vehicle batteries to have second and third lives in the electric power grid. This is an amazing development and the electric car uh, industry has been uh, waiting for something like this. Even the GM's, um, uh, one of the GM leaders uh, recently, when he was talking about uh, the electric cars and the future of electric cars, he said that we need to reach that parity um, with, uh, with electric car batteries versus gas cars. I think it's $100 per kilowatt hour or something like that. It looks like Tesla is achieving this parity. For months, Tesla chief executive Elon Musk has been teasing investors and reveals with promises to reveal and actually investors and rivals with promises to reveal significant advances in battery technology during a Tesla battery day in late May, which we're expecting will come in the third week of May. In fact, yesterday, me and one of uh, some of our Tesla friends asked Elon Musk when if there is if there is any news about Tesla battery day which he said probably will be in the third week of May possibly in Texas but there is still no response from Elon Musk and I under Musk and I understand he's probably very busy dealing with things with the reopenings of factories in uh, Fremont the, dr the drama in the Fremont factory versus uh, with uh, the Alameda County Health Department which thank God is solved now and also the opening of um, uh, Giga factory in Nevada so we have no update yet about the battery day but later today I'm planning to do another short uh, report about some important announcements that is likely to come from Tesla battery day so if you are here for the first time please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss that new low-cost batteries designed to last for a million miles of use and enable electric Teslas to sell profitably for the same price or less than a gasoline vehicle are just part of Elon Musk's agenda. People familiar with the plans uh, told Reuters. With a global fleet of more than 1 million electric vehicles that are capable of connecting to and sharing power with the grid, Tesla's goal is to achieve the status of a power company competing with such traditional energy providers as Pacific Gas and Electric and Tokyo Electric Power, those sources said. Now, here's an interesting development, friends. Until now, uh, we have been talking about investors looking at Tesla not as a ca uh, car company, but as a software company. But now, it's shifting toward becoming a electric uh, status of power company, becoming a power company. So, I, was, I ask you a question. If you're listening to this, please uh, comment in the below. Do you think Tesla is a car company? Do you think Tesla is a software company? Or do you think Tesla is a power company? Or do you think Tesla is the three of them? Let's talk about this in the comment section below. But in the meantime, let's continue. The new million mile battery at the center of Tesla's strategy was jointly developed with China's contemporary Amperex technology LTD called Cattle and deploys technology developed by Tesla in collaboration with a team of academic battery experts recruited by Musk. Three people familiar with the effort said Reuters. Now eventually Improved version of this battery with greater energy density and storage capacity and even lower cost 
will be introduced in additional Tesla cars in or in other markets, including North America, the sources said. But looks like it's going to be first introduced in Made in China Model 3. Tesla's plan to launch the new battery first in China and its broader strategy to reposition the company have not previously been reported. Tesla declined to comment. That's very interesting now, huh? Tesla's plan to launch the new battery first in China and its broader strategy to reposition the company have not been previously reported. Although there has been some fears that Tesla may be repositioning its company. I don't know. Tesla's new battery will rely on innovations such as low cobalt and cobalt free battery chemistries and the use of chemical additives, materials and coatings that will reduce internal stress and enable batteries to store more energy for longer periods, sources said. Tesla also plans to implement new high-speed, heavily automated battery manufacturing processes designed to reduce labor costs and increase production in massive Terra factories, about 30 times the size of the company's sprawling Nevada Gigafactory. A strategy telegraphed in the late April to analysis by Musk. Now, if anyone knows, I have a question, please, if you know, answer me in the comments section. How, um, we know that Terra Factory is likely to be 30 times the size of Nevada Gigafactory. How big is Giga Shanghai from Gigafactory in Nevada? And we know that uh, Giga Berlin is bigger in terms of land size than Giga Shanghai. So if you know, please let us know in the comment section below. Tesla is working on recycling and recovery of such expensive metals as nickel, cobalt, and lithium through its Redwood Materials affiliate, as well as new second life applications of electric vehicle batteries in grid storage systems, such as the one Tesla built in South Australia in 2017. The automaker also has said it wants to supply electricity to consumers and businesses, but has not provided details. Reuters reported exclusively in February that Tesla was in advanced talks to use Cattle's lithium-ion phosphate batteries, uh, phosphate batteries which use no cobalt, the most expensive metal in electric vehicle batteries. Cattle also has developed a simpler and less expensive way of packaging battery cells called cell to pack that eliminates the middle step of building cells, Tesla is expected to use the technology to help reduce battery weight and cost. Now, the sources said Cattle also plans to supply Tesla in China next year with an improved long life nickel manganese cobalt NMC, nickel manganese cobalt battery, whose cathode is 50% nickel and only 20% cobalt. Tesla now jointly produces nickel, cobalt, aluminum, and CA batteries with Panasonic at a gigafactory in Nevada and buys NMC batteries from LG Chem in China. Panasonic declined to comment. Taken together, the advances in battery technology, the strategy of expanding the ways in which EV batteries can be used, and the manufacturing automation on a huge scale all aim at the same target reworking the financial math that until now has made buying an electric car more expensive for most consumers than sticking with carbon emitting internal combustion vehicles, which are the gas cars. Quote, we've got to really make sure we get a very steep ramp in battery production and continue to improve the cost per kilowatt hour of the batteries. This is very fundamental and extremely difficult. Tesla CEO Elon Musk told investors in January, we've got to scale battery production to crazy levels that people cannot even fathom today, Elon Musk said. Tesla has reported operating profits for three quarters in a row, driving a near doubling of its shares price this year. Still, Tesla CEO Elon Musk's ambitious expansion plans depend on increasing both profit margins and sales volume. 
a number of the electric technical advances made by Tesla and cattle in battery chemistry and design originated at a small research lab at Dalhousie University in Halifax, Nova Scotia. The lab has been run since 1996 by Jeff Dunn, a pioneer in the development of lithium-ion batteries for electric vehicles and grid storage. Dunn and his team began an exclusive five-year research partnership with Tesla in mid-2016, but the relationship dates back at least to 2012. Among the critical contributions from Dunn's lab, chemical additives and nano-engineered materials to make lithium-ion batteries tougher and more resistant to bruising from stress such as rapid charging, thus extending their life. The cost of cattle's cobalt-free lithium-ion phosphate battery packs has fallen below $80 per kilowatt hour. This is amazing. $80 kilo per, per kilowatt hour, which the cost of the battery cells dropping below $60 kilowatt hour, the sources said. Cada's low-cost NMC battery packs are close to 100 kilowatt hour. Auto industry executives have said 100 kilowatt hour for battery packs is the level at which electric vehicles reach rough parity with internal combustion comp uh, competitors. Now, dropping the cost to 80 to 60 kilowatt hour, dropping below 60 kilowatt hour is amazing. I mean, you can expect electric car prices to drop 50%. In fact, recently Tesla uh, uh, dropped the price of Model 3 by uh, 15, 20% just to qualify for the, uh, uh, the government incentive in China. Battery expert Shirley Meng, a professor at the University of California, San Diego, said NMC battery cells could cost as little as 80 kilowatt hour once recycling and recovery of key materials such as cobalt and nickel is factored in. Iron phosphate batteries, which are safer than NMC, could find a second life in stationary grid storage systems, reducing the upfront cost of those batteries for electric vehicle buyers. In comparison, the new low cobalt batteries being jointly developed by General Motors and LG Chem are not expected to reach those cost levels until 2025, according to a source familiar with the company's work. GM declined to comment on its cost targets to Reuters. Earlier this year, it said only that it planned to quote, drive battery cell costs below 100 kilowatt hours, end of the quote, without specifying a timetable. Well, friends, a lot of information to digest. Uh, uh, let me know what you think about this development. And it's good that uh, Tesla is coming up with new batteries. And it's very interesting that Tesla is testing these batteries in China first, not in the United States. But the company, Cattle, is a Chinese company, apparently. And uh, this is why this is happening and not necessarily repositioning of its uh, influence into China. Um, let me know what you think about this development, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please like this video, join our community and subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to sub uh, support us financially, please send us as applause which is the next to the like button found in uh, found in uh, if you are watching this video on uh, desktop have a great rest of the day god bless you stay safe in these days and take good care of one another and your family members god bless you everyone